What is going on, everybody on YouTube? Welcome to another WWE Supercard Season 11, number 73, New Tears, and Boom Game Mode. Please uh, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, because we're on a road to 2,615K subscribers. And uh, if you could do me a favor, drop a like. Please leave a comment if you guys have any feedback for today's video. Let's get started. I'm chilling. I'll be right there. Be cool. One second. Guys, I'm back. And it looks like it's telling us about WWE Supercar will be going down for a maintenance. That's uh, that's already passed. So on the 15th, they had maintenance for season 11 of the new era. So I want to break down what's been added. Uh, we're going to talk about the new features. We're going to talk about the new game modes and all this and that. But as you guys don't know, we have ourselves uh, the punch. A bunch is uh, oh, punch is, is back. Apparently, you can get a real Ripley card. As you can see, uh, we're going to talk about all the new tiers that have been added too. So I'm talking about that too. So I'm going to click on this. As you can see, I'm Inferno tier or. Whatever. Next year is metal, ink, invasion, uh, inferno, uh, inferno, uh, uh, inferno tier, whatever. However you pronounce that. Legion is the last year, as you can see. This Legion card looks really awesome. All the cards that, that they have added for the new season look really awesome, really cool. So not gonna lie, the invasion card looks really awesome too. The Booker T, the old fashioned Booker T, ink. Ink tier kind of reminds me of getting uh, kind of like a tattoo card or whatever. Uh, even metal tier kind of looks awesome as well. It gives me that uh, gothic, that uh, gothic, uh, that gothic uh, kind of feel to it. So that, that actually looks fire. The fusions look really cool. But uh, those are the only tiers that have been added. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just cut this music off so we can talk over it. But now I'm not gonna have the music on during a supercar video because that's disturbing to a lot of people out there. But uh, we have ourselves our login bonuses and stuff like that. Uh, daily reward, which actually is not bad, bro. It ends in four hours, so we got daily uh, clutch. So I'm guessing this is like Wild Wednesday or some shit like that. But I'm not too sure. So it says a uh, draft attack, so you gotta go on the draft board. Get 10 cards off the draft board and then you super move three times. I reset draft board three times. Pro a card, one of them. When a power, uh, five power matches, uh, charisma matches, win five. And then when play a game of survivor, try to survive. Okay. So that ends in four hours. So we got Demi Your Dreams, uh, Clest that will end in five days. So we got. Of course, you get the Ray Ripley Invasion card. You get, um, you can get a chance to get a, the Invasion card, or you could get a uh, Legion card, which is the highest card in the game. Where you, you could get a chance to card, like I said, or you could get one. Uh, contains four of the following. So it contains either a uh, Legion card or a Fern card, or how we pronounce it. You get a chance at a at a uh. A major card or a ink card or metal card or even a chance at my fusion here my fusion and you get some of these uh fertility fertility uh i don't i don't know how to pronounce that very well but you get tour tickets which is kind of which is kind of cool you get it contains three chances at i guess you could say re rippling different tiers and pretty much it's not it's not bad i'm kind of Thinking that these rewards could be a lot better, but I'm not gonna complain because uh, either or I can get a chance to get in there inside of this pack or even inside of this pack as well, which is kind of cool, not bad. I'm kind of that's kind of cool. This new season is not bad, bro. It's not bad. So, objective count rewards that's kind of fire. So, we, you get this year, you get objective count rewards, which is kind of crazy and cool at the same time. So each time you put, each time you complete a reward, you get some really cool rewards right there. So, as you can see, the story fresh and the free packs are kind of different this year. 
and this uh, new update that we just received uh what's going on in my mailbox yeah i got battle pass rewards to collect them all got a lot of those cool these rewards are trash by the way i'm sorry about that i always love the free battle pass coins or whatever however whatever whatever that is oh look at that free Okay, I'll check it. These bags are garbage, bro. Not gonna lie. They could have been a whole lot better. Not gonna lie. I take the 200 credits. I take the uh, super coins, whatever you say. Super coins, super tokens, whatever. Oh, I like the rare draft board this year. Kind of look futuristic. Not gonna lie. Silver kind of look cool. Uh, why? No, right back to draft board. The one thing I was going to do when this new season came out was I was going to stream it, but unfortunately it was like 10 in the morning for me, so I didn't really stream it because plus it was like, that morning it was like only 48 degrees, which I didn't really want to stream it at all, plus I haven't been on YouTube in a while, so if everyone is like, where you been, what's going on, took a break, took a break, needed to take a break, so we're going to get our long and bonus, let's grab that right click. It's gonna take us to another page. I missed all of those, as you can see. Fortunately, launch super card again. Put back in there. We're gonna reload my game. Shit. Get my get a double. Cool. I like it. Bottom left. I right, go ahead and destroy that. All right. So you may notice that tickets, that ticket packs are no longer inside of your uh your your thing where you go up to the top anymore. Well, ticket packs are now available in the. I guess you could say like the. They're supposed to be in a superstore, which I was told. So I'm guessing we lost all our tickets or whatever. Yeah, it'll happen there. So unless I'm unless I'm completely blind. So um, for those guys that are wondering what happened to tickets, tickets are now inside of your uh your superstore. That's where you can find them. And uh, what they have told uh, told us is that very soon they're gonna be a cart. They're gonna be leaving supercar. Ticket packs will be leaving very soon. So. You get you can get a good chance at a metal card. You can get a chance at an inferno card or uh, SummerSlam. I guess you could say twenty four. But kind of like the rare, I kind of like the rares. It's kind of cool. And then super coins is still here as well. What I'm thinking of going for, I'm not gonna lie. I may, I may. Once they add the highest tier card in the game, I want to probably buy those. But at the moment, I think the best buy for your money right now, your uh, super coins, is getting yourself two of these uh, Pope Kingston's. That's what I think is the best for your buck. But to that new game mode, I was going to say, is it down here somewhere? Yeah. So this new Boom game mode, I don't know what it's about, but so it says, welcome to Boom. Here are some of the cards to get started get you started okay bunch of garbage cards i know why these are all wrestlemania uh 30 uh are these all wrestlemania 40 cards please tell me not i skipped it all right so were they all i'm guessing they were all wrestlemania 40 cards i didn't see nothing really so this is basically like the money that this is like the uh this is like the 24 7 championship uh thing that they had so once you get up to like 11 of a uh 11th streak you get yourself a uh, legion card the highest card in the game apparently so how this works because i'm not gonna lie um the cards for the hear me out the boom game mode is all all it is is basically like uh you, you know how you you know how they add the uh the uh, for the 24 7 championship right that's all it is that's all this game mode is but it's it's completely different so if i click here it will break down what it it will break down what this game mode is about. So it says each card and boom has their has three properties: point value, boom ability, and area of effect. I read that right. Um, it says point value is how much a card contributes to comes comes points uh, total when in play. In play, a cards a cards starting point value is a percentage of its stat percentage wow so it says boom ability is what effect a card will have on the point value of other cards when played a boom a card's boom of ability is based on its name okay area of effect is what 
spaces a card will claim and apply their boom ability to play it. Okay. So here's all the stuff it says. It says playing cards. Cards can only be played on empty spaces that you can control. Okay. It's basically like it's basically like the game on uh ring domination or whatever. Ring domination, it kinda has that feel to it. I could be wrong on on a number of things I said there. When a card is played, it claims an empty space, empty spaces, and applies its boom ability to cards in its area of effect. Okay. If a card if a card's point value is zero, it's reduced to zero, it is removed from the, the board. That card space will, is then claimed by the card whole, whole boom ability. Reduce its point value to zero. What? Okay. Winning the game. Each card on the board contributes to your your point total and that column. In order to win a column, you need a higher column total than your opponent. Oh, really? Oh, really? Almost like green domination, too. Almost like Ring Domination and Road to Glory as well. Kind of similar to those. Also, the 24-7 game mode as well. Each column you win contains, contains contributes, contributes to your grand point total. The game ends when no more cards can be played. Whenever, whoever has, whenever, oh. Whoever has the highest grand point total at the end of the game wins okay oh and then it says each every uh some some something secure win secure security win or some, something like that uh and boom increases your win streak at your win streak your your win streak your win streaks grows you will earn you will start earning streak rewards you your win streak and the streak rewards reset 24 hours. The it contains the contests of streak rewards change with every reset. Oh, that's cool. Every time you complete a game of boom, you, your, you, what? Your grand point total gets added to your leaderboard score. The leaderboard pays out rewards and resets at the end of every each month the reward you get is based on your rank when leaderboard paid paid out good luck okay so uh, if we click here and look at leaderboard rewards what does it give you when you get to the highest so that the highest he's legion tier apparently so rewards you get when you get to the highest is you get a legion card you get a uh, boom card back. You get 800 credits. You get uh, not a cool rewards, but what do you get when you go for uh, rank, rank two to uh, rank right uh, blah, rank two to ten. Same cool rewards, but what do you get if you go under gold or silver? The rewards don't get worse, but like, well, if I were bronze, what do I get if I only get bronze? Some shitty rewards. That's when I start getting shitty rewards. But you do get a chance to get an ink card or an invasion card or even a metal card or mod here cards. So five credits. That's a joke. That's kind of a joke. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. But the rewards could be a whole lot better. Oh, they they really hit maintenance update. Wow. In the middle of a video, a maintenance update happens. Wow. Not lying. But uh, we have a maintenance update. And uh, I'm not sure when this maintenance update will end, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it there because the maintenance update cut my video short. So I'm not sure why they did a maintenance update in the middle of uh, why uh, that happened, but I'm not too sure on what actually happened. But could be wrong. A lot of things could be wrong. A lot of things could go wrong right there. But I had plans of uh, buying. I guess you could say, I don't know, but I would just say that you guys will see progress in about the next few videos or in the next two, uh, the next two videos, the next two, maybe the first season 11 stream, you will see progress or 
few videos from now, but pretty much I did cover the new tiers, the new boom game mode. I talked about that. It's basically like Road to Glory. Like Road to Glory and Ring Dom and 24 set uh 24 7 game mode. Something like that. But a lot of things could go wrong. A lot of things could go wrong. I could complain and this video probably won't get out to y'all, but a lot of things could go wrong there. But unfortunately my video has to be cut short right there. Because uh I think Supercar just didn't. I don't know what exactly happened there, but I don't know what happened there, but some maintenance update just happened. Like the maintenance up it update is to fix PvP network issue. So that's that's what the update is about. So I'm gonna get out of here. Um this is gonna be probably a, a 20 some minute video or shorter, depending on if my software could edit it very well. But yeah, guys, that's just, that's a new season eleven new era update. That's that's what they call it. But these new era videos would be really cool. I'm gonna see what I could put together and uh I get back to it. But uh you guys stay posted and I will get back to making more content again, making more streams again, making more lots lots of cool stuff. But I will be live tonight and uh I'll see y'all in the next videos, next live streams, whatever you guys wanna know. But anyways guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm glad to be back on YouTube. And I'm not going anywhere, guys. Thank y'all very much for watching. See y'all in the next WWE Supercar Season 11 video. Coming right at you. Jada Infinite signing off. And the one and only Infinite One busting off. <laughs>